Hello everybody, this is Kyosha here. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be reviewing the Ben Presto Q, the Creator Times Creator Series, the Oikawa Toru figure. Here's the special color version, of course. And so without further ado, let's get started. We'll take a look at the packaging first. Uh, the standard size, standard looking um, Ben Presto packaging. Um, very nice. This is the uh, special color version versus the actual one. Cool. And here's the back. What I do really dig about this box is definitely uh, the description here, although they're in Japanese, but uh, uh, I went through it uh, really quick. Uh, basically, there's two creators for these for this figure. Um, one is a photographer filming an actual person posing uh, the way it is, and also a sculptor who based on that and created this figure. So what I really like about it is they actually described and give a little bio of the photographer and the sculptor of this particular figure. For this figure, uh, um, the photographer name, let me zoom in so you can see better. It's Shuji Oshima or Oshima Shuji. And the sculptor is Vado Q. Cool, right? We don't we don't often have these names written on the boxes uh, for for figures or action figures in general. So it's a really nice touch here. I do like this packaging. Um, you know, it's very encouraging. It it, it just gives more information on the, the creators of these figures. I really dig that. I really like it as well. Cool. Um, nothing much else going on with the box, but I do really like this box. I I think besides um GK or those like very fancy figures. Uh, like those ninety dollar action uh, like figures, I think this is the first time seeing they've done something like this, you know, for these like prize figures, um, you know. So pretty cool. All right, let's now move um, focus on the Toto figure himself. Uh, there are good stuff and gripe that I have on this figure. Uh, I have to be honest with you. I guess this figure for around 49 bucks, uh, but this figure is going very crazy in a secondhand market. Uh, well, as always, with any high Q figures, they are usually just very expensive if you miss the uh, pre-order or um, stuff like that. Anyways, um, Cool. Uh, so let's talk about good stuff on this figure. This figure comes in a good size. This is almost an eight inch figure. Here's my hand comparison. This is an eight, like close to eight inch figure. Uh, I think the size is brilliant. Um, cool. Very like it, it. It has that very nice feeling to it when when and it's in this size. You know the eight inch size. So that's a pro thing that I do like about it. And the reason I pick up the special color version is definitely I think this color is very dull very amazing um it's very different than the usual uh, you know anime color or just those colorful color in general i like that this particular pack you know th this this whole color variations a lot i'm usually not a collector of variants uh, i usually would collect the original color which here we have there's the original color and the special color but something sold me this figure with this color which i do really like um, the other thing is definitely the posture. I think the posture looks fantastic. It looks just like an actual person, you know, like very, very awesome. And I do like to collect EK Man looking figures, you know, EK Man meaning like looking very cool, badass looking. I think having those on the shelves is just cool when you look at it. Um, so those are cool things. And also um, the shirt is removable. That's another touch. Uh, I mean, we'll go into details in a bit, but um, that's a very nice touch. So if, if you want to display um him Toto without it you can do that um i like the touch that they have number one here the aoba josai high school um by the way he's the captain and also the main main player of uh, aoba josai anyways that's another touch that i really, really like about it so yeah those are all the good stuff and now let's focus on the figure himself of course, it comes with this little support stand, so he can stand up. Um, yeah, sneaker. Sneaker looks absolutely amazing. I love the color. I love the details. Fantastic. I mean, there's no skin tone going on because it's a special color version. But uh, something that just I dig it. Uh, all these knee pads and all that. Very surreal. Like, um, I really like it. Um, the, co the, the shirt, sports shirt, looking absolutely amazing as well. All the kanji came out really nicely. 
All the stripes came out very nicely as well. The poster is very, you came in very badass. Uh, the fingers are sculpted very nicely as well. The face, okay, face might, if I have one gripe on this figure, um, it's definitely the face. Um, it's a very nice looking face, but he's not spot on. You know, uh, there's something off on the face um, as compared to the real, not the real, but the total from the anime. Just a little bit off right here. Uh, I think it has to do with the eyes. Somewhere, somewhere along this, this area that make this figure just slightly off, you know. But uh, once again, I'm not a, I'm not a photographer or anything like that, so I, I can't really tell what is off. Just somewhere is off. <laughs> yeah, that's the best I can describe, I guess, in this situation. But yeah, uh, if, if it's more spot on, I think it will be just a lot better. But um, still, it's a very minor nitpick because I can still tell this is uh, Toru. Uh, definitely can tell it's taller it just um yeah likeness is just slightly a little bit off uh, the other grab i have is i don't know um i feel like it might be because of this is the uh, special color version or the variant maybe you wouldn't get that with the uh, actual original color it just somehow the overall it's very the feeling of this figure is very plasticky you know um i don't know maybe it's slightly a little too glossy too shiny to the skin tone maybe because um i do not think uh this is a problem with the actual original color version uh you know i think this might just be because it's a variant and maybe i don't know um it'll be better if it's, it's not as glossy as shiny on the skin tone you know which will make it a lot less plasticky so that will probably be the only problem that i have but yeah this shirt looks fantastic actually i really like it yeah, you can actually delay, um, display your figure like this. Very cool. Or you can display him with the shirt on. Like so. Very cool. Yep, um, I still think this is an amazing figure. Uh, between this and the original version, I think... Uh, like I said, original version definitely you probably will see a better skin tone. Um, which, you know, with the variant version you sacrifice it for whatever this artistic look i still prefer this artistic look though so it's it's very unique it's very different than um you know the normal color that's the whole reason i'm getting this anyways i think this is an amazing figure i do recommend it if you guys can get it at a reasonable price like i said i got it for under 50 bucks but i think these figures are going up very expensive in price so do be cautious you know unless you absolutely love this figure otherwise you know it, you can pass it but uh in terms for me i think this is a 8.5 out of 10 for me i i like the size i like the posture i like the overall the only 1.5 minus is is to you know the the face the eyes i guess uh, the eyes is what a little bit off in terms of how he looks from the anime the other one is the, a little bit too glossy to my taste uh, so there's that little plasticky feelings to this particular figure um you know but those are not like huge problems or anything like that i still think this is an amazing figure for any high q collectors so yeah here's my review of the ben presto high q series the creator times creator oikawa toru figure this is the special color version so thank you guys so much for watching and i will talk to you guys in the next video bye bye